Pasti mana? This time out is really with a good amount of curry. It's more than big, sir. <laughs> Not ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, one bite, one bite. Yeah, but I cannot. <laughs> okay, good afternoon, people. Today, special episode. This week, I did two food challenges really. Okay, so today is like a normal rest day for me. And on a regular day, right, I think most of you guys already know I am a vegan or if not vegetarian, I stay away from meat. Though. Today's special episode is a vegetarian food vlog. We're going to four places and today, right, I got a special guest with me. You guys already know who it is, so this girl that has been vegetarian all her life. Yeah. Okay? Like on my this kind of off days, right, I want to look for vegetarian food or, or vegan food, la, but mm. I don't know where to go. So she's going to show... I'm a vegetarian expert. Ambassador. So been vegetarian for 23 years of my life, my whole life. All her and life, my yeah. family, um, we are all full vegetarian. So I think I have tried like the good and bad places. Mm. So these four places that I'm recommending today are very solid. Some of them more underrated, some more popular. And I think we'll have a very good time. My hopes are high because coming from someone that's been vegetarian all her life, right? Fingers call her, please, please. <laughs> the food is not going to be bad, lah, okay? One question first. What? So what is actually a vegetarian diet? Okay, you're going to test me, right? Actually, right? I know, lah, okay? A couple of different variations, lah. I think one is the vegan one. Okay, mm. vegan one, which like... That you no... are, like, most of the time you are like vegan, right? Uh, I try to, lah. So yeah. there is no animal products at all. Mm. Then the other one is the typical vegetarian, vegetarian. the one with egg and milk yeah. and dairy. And, and then there's the religion kind. So yeah, that... so no onion and garlic, yeah, no stuff onion. like this. So actually like the places we're going to today, right? Mm. I think all do have onion and garlic. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. wow. So, okay, okay. Later we will we'll debunk a bit why no onion and garlic. Okay, I'm actually very curious because <laughs> so my parents told me some stuff. I want to yeah, yeah. see if it's tally. Okay? Okay, but let's, we head into the first go, location. Let's go, <laughs> Okay, so first stop, we are at Da Zi Ran Su Si Nature Vegetarian Delight. <laughs> well, I don't even know there's a mall here. It's quite Ulu la, I Come here often. Quite often in my family. So this is one of our favourite mala Xiang Guo place. I really like it because the peppercorns is very like, very ma, very xiang and very la. The menu is very extensive, I just yes, want to take a look. very extensive. It's a lot of stuff. The uh, highlight la, is definitely the mala Xiang Guo. Always people eat here. Okay, I look forward to the, the first stop la, okay? Usually the first stop, every time miss one. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it is. It's really good. I okay, come, always come. eat here. Okay, let's order, go. Come. Okay. We so, should do how, how much are we eating? I saw buffet. Twenty dollar perfect. Come and destroy. Today we are here to food vlog, food vlog. Okay, so yeah. what, what do you? I, I let you pick. The bottom is all mock meat. Mm. The chicken wing looks very real. Eh? Oh my god. Uh, vegetables, all the natural stuff. Lah. These are the things that usually I'll go for. Okay, come. I let you pick. What do you okay. want to eat? What do you use? What do you normally eat? like for mala xiang guo? What's your favorite ingredient? Uh, mushrooms. This one. One, uh, and a bunch of vegetables. Though. I love this one. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. That one, that one is good. Yeah. Take two, lah. Huh? Take two. Lah. Conservative amount. Yeah, yeah. You don't halfway puncture it, can you? Eh, no, no. It's this 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 where is the mushroom? Which mushroom? I thought you said you like mushroom. Oh. Usually I'll get that one also, inoki. Oh, okay. Yeah. You Maggie me, I want Maggie me. Take it, take it. Yeah. Can you make? Okay, wait, wait, Jiang Jian. Zhong la or xiao la? I'm okay, whichever luck you use. Okay, zhong la, then we get the zhong la. Da la also can. Mm. Oh. Mm. 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 Zhong la, zhong la. Mm. Zhong la. Zhong la. Salad buffet. Isn't right here and eat, right? You come and crave and this is nice. How you know? How you know? How you know is the right angle? I just know already, okay. Wait, wait, she didn't take a real. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I practice, okay? If, if, okay, you take over. I saw I follow you like that. Okay, let's go. You take a look, see okay. Okay. I'm doing the typical Instagram, you know, Instagram boyfriend. I'm not a boyfriend, but Instagram boyfriend thing that we're supposed to do. Awkward. Wow, what a man. 
<laughs> you, you're telling Wonson. This one in English one. Yeah, this one Mandarin one. Wow, Lao Noa Lao. Hey guys, I'm filming our reels as well. He must go watch my reels also. I will, I will. Oh, it smells good. It smells really good. This smells like Sichuan there. Oh, wow. I think the instant noodle is, is a must la, because right. it, it's sort of like, soaks up the top. Correct. It, mm. it, it sort of combines everything together. Okay, come let's try. I, I'm very curious. The spice level is just nice. Right. Oh, it's good eh. It's very, it feels like there's some sort of like a paste on, on top of it. Yeah, the level of spice is just nice. It's not too numbing, it's not too overwhelming spicy. Mm. And this thing feels healthy. Very crunchy. Oh, hey, that bamboo shoot is very short. It's right, it's you go sweet fun. Correct, correct. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm going to bring my non-vegetarian friends here and they really like it. I think it's as good as a non-vegetarian mask. Okay, I don't know what else they throw in uh, for non-vegetarian one, but this one hits the spot for me. It's good enough. Because eh. I have those non-vegetarian mala before with vegetarian items. La. Okay. And I think that the hell of this, even though no garlic, right? Mm. It still has like that mouth flavor. Correct. Mm, you yeah. say it's quite ma. Actually, I don't quite taste the ma. You know, yeah. some places, right, the ma is too overwhelming. Mm. This is just nice. It's perfect. It's Okay, the medium spice is perfect for me. Hey, the first place is a hit. Yeah, it is a hit. Maybe mm. I must ask you, uh, mm. what's the difference between the with meat one and without meat one? Because you eat them both, ma. Hailey doesn't. Okay, with meat one, I, I guess there is meat options, obviously. And then, I don't think it adds on to too much flavor. This one is okay, right? it hits the spot for me. But even by adding like some pork belly or what into it, right? I don't think it's going to enhance it. Mm. This itself is good. They needed a bit more peanuts, uh, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah, yeah. Today is one of those foods, right? We are meeting a lot of vegetables. Eh. Yay. I feel so happy. Eh. Like, I feel nourished. Eh. Nice. Hey, what's your favorite item among here? Bamboo you have to order the bamboo chips when you're here. I, I think like the way that this sauce is, it's more of the saucy kind of mala. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So this one actually really sucks in the top. There's like the crunch, the slightly like tanginess, and then plus like the la. It's really very it's good. It's not too oily. It's got like, a lot of like moisture on it. This bit a bit uru. Uh. I've never stepped into this shopping mall before. I don't even know there's a shopping mall here. It's a very like old shopping mall. Run down. Not really tell one. But then it really cools this gem. We really have to come and try. Mm. So they, they used to have a original outlet in Aukang. The Aukang one is super long already. It's like maybe 20, 30 years since I was born. There's like a bunch of loyal customers. Lah. Then they open a new one. This one has like more new age food like mala siang mm. prata, Perfect. cheese. Oh, the peanut, the bit of the mushroom. Oh, mm. Every bite, right, right? Every bite, I'm like, because you know, usually when you eat mala siang it's like you, you, you relate this thing with oil and like all the pork belly and all. This one, oh, this one's very healthy. Okay, so other than the siang po, uh, they have a lot of like cooked dishes, uh, like zizha dishes also, mm. which I've seen some people ordering, which looks very good also, uh, the curry and the... Oh, I recommend their clay pot rice. If you're here, try their... Clay pot rice? Clay pot oh. rice. Clay pot rice, guys. It's super good, super good. It's like, got the wok hei taste. Yeah. And actually, story time, right? My family has been visiting Tan Si Ran for like, since I was born. No. So I, I grew up eating this food. Okay. Till now. But they only recently invented the new mala and thing. And that's drop or not? No. Yeah. Consistent. Okay. It's owned by a very big family. Like, so, right now, they're using robots already. Yeah. yeah. That's the server. Hey, just now you share something, right? Share you what? the very cool, big knowledge that shows. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the robot, right? How they find yeah, the way to so walk cool. and everything, like, there's all the mapping on top. All these are mapping actually, mm. like senses. I'm God. so impressed that you're so observant. Eh. <laughs> Hey. You tell me, from small to big, this thing will become big, right? Okay. 
个吃了变变爆。Okay, true lah. Okay, she's being she's being hundred percent here. Oh, they they serve like fresh coconuts here. So we want to. I always eat mala, right? Oh, then I will cool it down with coconut. Reduce the heatiness. Mm. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's it. Okay, this is the first stop. We almost done with. Mm. Uh, then we're gonna move on to the second stop. The second stop is very famous. A lot of you guys actually recommend to us already. It's called mm. Moses Kitchen. I just been there, you know, two days ago. Uh, <laughs> you want to avoid that one? Uh? No, 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 I'm okay, yeah. I'm okay. It's, yeah. a, it's a Korean inspired vegetarian uh, like place, lah. And then I don't know. I heard a lot of great things about it. Mm. But I, I'm also skeptical mm. because Korean food, you're gonna, you're gonna make it like vegetarian without the garlic, without all that stuff. Mm. It's confused. Oh, okay, but we'll see how. Then after that, steering wheel, no, you're just right. You're okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with steering wheel. Let's go. So now it's Haley already. Nice. So when you change back to Zamet, you will auto like. Oh, very smart. Oh, okay, just nice already. Oh, solid. Oh, not bad. Eh. Open ah. Uh. Yeah, have a good day. Enjoy your lunch. What is the name? I just see you. YouTube. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, this is really famous. Wow, his CD magnet is really cool. His second boyfriend. Today, part time, part time. Okay. <laughs> what do you come here? You I like Donjon Okay, we got, we got Donjon Gige, we got one. Yeah, kimbap. Which kimbap is good? There is only one. Can, 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 anything. Yeah, can we, 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 we order first? I wonder what the Koreans would, like the Korean would say. You need to ask my wife. Oh, really? Your wife Korean? Ah? <laughs> when we order something, when we order and give up, they will actually ask you, there's cheese inside. Are you guys okay? Yeah. With it? I think there's quite a big population of Singaporeans who are very, who are really like vegan. And there's also like the no onion garlic kind. Oh, right, just, sure. Yeah, but I just want to say, right, the boneless kitchen reviews, right? There's one K reviews, you know, on Google. Yeah, yeah I know, no, that's, why, that's how I that's how I came about this one. Your fans, your fans. Because they're looking for a good five seconds. It's like, oh, that, that's still good. No, it's more like that drama, okay? <laughs> more on the store outside the store, you think, like, oh, I love your YouTube video. Shout out to you, man. Okay, now we wait for the food. <laughs> I hope the gimbal is decent. Size, uh, because mm. I, I, I thought we'll order a bit oh, too little, yeah, but the might have. The Kimba is coming. Because we still have two more stops. Two more stops. And the last two stops, if, if the food is too little, last two stops, we order more. Mm. Can one. Okay, can no, This will be my lunch and dinner. <laughs> Sunjun chicken. Oh, it smells damn good. Yeah, it really so it's smells. like a bean paste stew. It has this fermented smell. Mm, correct. And then we have the kimbap. So I ordered this one because we are both not big on zai liao, right? But this zai liao is one of those that I really like. What I like to do is that I will wrap the kimbap. Then... Start it, start it. <laughs> and then I will dip it into the soup. No, just like that. Just oh, okay. Like dip. Yeah, yeah. No, you wanna? No, no, I'm gonna eat one without dunking. Oh, wow. This one got cheese inside. They use brown rice actually. Yeah. But it tastes like white rice. It doesn't have the weird taste or uh, Now I'm gonna dunk it into the soup. Nice lah. I, I just like it lah. You did it. The gimbal on its own is very good. Mm. If you dunk it into the soup, right? A bit more flavor. A bit more mo moist. Uh. And inside got zucchini in the soup. Oh, zucchini. Yeah, so I'm gonna flip and show them. Okay. Like I see this. radish. Zucchini. Zucchini and then um, Okay, not a lot of ingredients. Not uh. a lot, not a lot. This one is a very like I would say I would say like comfort food. Mm. I love this one. Oh yeah. It's happy. It's very comforting. Yeah. It's so, something that you want to drink when we're at home on a rainy day. Yeah, exactly. So the top pie is mostly the like army stew and the kimchi jingke. Like the red colour based mm. one. But this one is like my underrated favourite. Okay, I, I would say this is a good combination. The gimbal with this. It's like a balanced meal right here. Mm, it's quite healthy actually. And oh, they come with sides as well. Um, I don't know why they didn't give us, but there needs to be this mushroom side which I really like. For me today, I don't have. I think it's a bit seasonal. Mmm, sorry. Oh, quite nice eh. Right, yeah, got the umami. <laughs> Sesame. Sesame oil, yeah. Hey, I want to try the yeah, kimchi. <coughs> it's the radish kimchi. Yeah, average one, yeah. Yeah, average. Too sweet, eh. Uh, I see a lot of people, they come here, they order the kimchi pancake. Wow, the up. It starts to grow on me, eh. Mm. Mm. 
Not bad. Quite good. My expectation for this place is actually quite low because I don't know if Korean food is going to taste good uh, when, it, when it's like, you know, vegetarian, it lacks so much, uh, mm. so much of the, oh, no, they don't have garlic. Mm, yeah. yeah. You are the vegetarian that cannot eat onion and garlic, right? I got eat onion and garlic, guys. Like my, my family. Okay, your family don't. They don't. Yeah, so I guess the reason, but yeah. there's a lot of reason. Your family also, right? Yeah. Okay, both our parents are vegetarian, okay? Yeah. I'm the... <laughs> I, I don't follow the my fa my family one. <laughs> so she, she follow. <laughs> Fun to it. <laughs> uh, but I still eat onion and garlic because it's flavorful. But um, the reason why they don't eat it, there's a few reasons. One of them, they say it's because Stomach acid or something. Then oh, because there's no yeah. meat, so it's too like harsh there's on the no stomach. There's no bacteria, some, something in your stomach. Then if, if you eat garlic, it'll be very strong on your stomach. And the, another one you hear is that like the siu tao kind, you know, like if you are cultivating, you are very religious and pious, then they cannot take things that are too strong in flavor. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of different reasons. A lot of different reasons. Yeah. So the ones I heard is they say when you eat the uh, when you eat onion and garlic, right, you 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 arouse you like you have more like sex drive or something. So you're not supposed to do that. Okay. Second reason is like last time they say my dad told me to say last time someone tried to assassinate the Buddha or something, and then uh, one of the disciple go and push away or something, and then. Push Sorry, what? Like some poison soup or something. Oh, then, and then, then on something. the floor, yeah, on the floor, and then like like some garlic sprout or something. I don't know. It sounds very ridiculous, but yeah, yeah, but yeah maybe I it is true. One, I don't know. I'm very tempted to order more stuff to try, but we have two more other restaurants. The yeah. next one I'm looking forward. It's called Goku. Goku is great. Really? Yeah, but it, they serve what Indian food. Eh? Indian restaurant food. I think a lot of the Indian community really, really like. Hmm. Yeah. I heard the... Hey, but we got free papadum there. <laughs> Unlimited papadum. Yeah, so we are pretty much done with this place. Um, I only tried two. I will come back again to try other stuff. But the kimbap here is as good if not better than a lot of other kimbaps that I had that is non-vegetarian. I, I think it's partially because of the rice. Because the rice, right, it doesn't have the very sticky texture. Mm. Yeah. It, it's very lee Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Li yeah. Li firming. Yeah. yeah. It's like the amount of carrots they put. I think it gives a bit of the crunch. And then the zai liao is not the kind of zai liao you don't like. It's, it's a very part. flavorful, so, it's like a salty zai liao. It's, it has like a depth of flavor. Okay, anyways, that's it, okay? We will mm. be done with this one. We need to fly off to the next location because this girl, you know, be, be at another place at 6 p.m. So we need mm. to, we could be literally eating four restaurants in four yeah. hours, uh, yes, yeah. inclusive of yeah. traveling. But yeah, we, we will make we'll make this happen. We will drive safe, though, don't worry. Okay. So we are at the third stop. Goku Rice. Goku Rice. Right? Yeah, Goku. Goku. I know the Goku are the character anime, um, one of my favorite anime <laughs> characters. The Dragon Ball guy. This is one of the very uh, very famous one. Uh. Very good Indian vegetarian restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna head in. What what do you usually order here? I honestly don't know. I've never come here very long. Already. Indian vegetarian food is always good, uh, okay? If they have the order, what I, I like what's the thing called the tose. Yeah. Ooh. We're craving for tose for a while. Okay. Yeah, let's head in and see what they have. I saw on the Google reviews, right? Uh, they say they say get the carrot cake. Oh really? They say get char carrot cake. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I don't I'm mind. quite surprised. Yeah. I just really want to get the papadum. I really like the papadum here. Free one right here. I don't know if it's too free, but I remember two years ago it's free. I heard you guys want some sort of carrot cake, is it? No, I have the carrot cake. Okay, we, we get the carrot cake. What's kambing soup? Kambing soup is supposed to be um, mutton, mutton, oh, lamb. Oh, I don't mind trying it. You want that? We get, we get one of this as well. Can we get papadum? Yeah. Wait, 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 I want to see like... like I, want to, I want to take a look at their pasta dishes. Okay, we get one of the murtabak. I seen on Google review. I don't know why. So random people. Like, Can I get a carrot cake? Yeah, yeah and, and he's like, yes, the carrot cake here is very yeah. good. Usually you won't see Indian restaurants serving Chinese variation like this kind of carrot cake. Mm. Hey, but it looks damn I feel like everything here, right? This looks like Yeah, it looks damn good. good. So this is murtabak, okay? It looks like a typical murtabak, but apparently no meat in there. They put this sort of mock meat inside. Cumbling soup, you know? Cumbling mm. soup. Eh. I don't know how they're gonna replicate or mimic the taste. But okay, very hungry, let's try. Whoa, look at that. Wow. Yeah. It's saucy man, it's saucy. This is his portion, it's my portion, cheers. Mm. Mm. Hey, wait, 
Hey. Hmm? They got no egg in that. Oh, have any egg? Uh? They got no egg and they, they can cook it like that, I think it's quite good. My vegan friend, you guys can come here and try it. Okay? Yeah. I don't know what they substitute with the egg for, but it's very good. I think they chop out some tofu or something. There's a bit of sourness. Mm. Right. I don't know where the sourness comes from. But can I just say that like, after eating so many food already, like, a bit of sourness is welcome. Right. right. Thank you, Papadum. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, it looks okay. rich, eh? It looks rich. Wow. Oh, I still got yeah, okay, okay, go. Come. Alright, try first. Uh. Can I just say that as a vegetarian, right? I feel there's a bit of gaminess in this soup. Got a bit of gaminess. Right. The and young I don't know how it. they can have the gaminess when it's vegetarian. They use the right spices for gumbling soup. Right? Okay. Don't think of it as you're drinking gumbling soup. Think of it as drinking like some sort of soup. Right? It's a very good bowl of soup. I would say it's very good, very comforting. The masala and everything is on point. We must try with the roti. It's actually quite happy like, this one. Yeah, it is. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really like Papadam here. Oh, with the hey, with the bread, it's really lamb chop. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> you just need everything in the soup. Ah. <laughs> just sounds like kimbap also. Kimbap also you put in the soup. Hey, try. Okay, what? Not bad. I can't wait for that. So many people on the way. Mmm. Hey, the soup really very good. I like the soup, man. I'm gonna just try it on its own first without dipping it into the curry. Mmm. Cheers. Very yeah, serious, good. It's a very different kind of matabak. You know, you know straight away that is there's no meat in there. You're not trying to mimic the taste of meat or like replicate the taste of lamb or whatever it's like. Yeah, I never had a mutaba before. Huh? Yeah, really, 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 really. But it's just like very hard to find vegetarian mutaba, you know. Like mostly they, they won't I will go for prata instead, mm. you know, just simple options. There's a very unique leaf taste. Like I think it's a curry leaf inside. Oh, I don't yeah. know what color leaf. A bunch of herbs inside, I don't know what. Mm. I love the herbs. You know, I was like, hmm, this is like a very surprising flavor that I've never tried before. Even yeah. without the curry, right, it's got a nice kick to it. It's got some heat to it. Right? Mm. But with the curry, right, it's like, it's so, you know, whenever like you go to other place like Shisa, they have basic sauce, right? Mm. The, veg the vegetable curry, right, is always then like watery and lack of flavors. But this one is like, it really Kau packs, kau one, right? yeah, kau, it packs the flavor, like coconut milk, all this. You have been eating so many curry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like normal, but mm -hmm. pork lard one. Uh, what is this one that makes up? This one, I really, is the fact that they didn't add any sort of egg and garlic inside. And they still, they're still able to create such a taste, like this kind of taste for power. I think this is very, very good. Mm. The tofu they put inside, right, gives it enough texture. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. probably chop the tofu until it's very fine. It sort of like replicate mm. the egg kind of, eggy mm. kind of texture. I really like the kambing soup a lot. Hey, can you tell or not? Um, this place got onion garlic or not? No. Don't have. Uh. Don't have. If they, if they have onion garlic, they will already put it in this. Yeah, true, true, true. The flavor here is not artificial at all. It all tastes very, very natural. Especially the coming soup. I think they add a pesto inside also. Like some sort of like pine nuts or something. I would say so far this is my this is the best. Eh? The way they execute like, is really wow. I would say that if you're a foodie, you like different combination of flavors, textures and like we do the art of food, right? This place will definitely be one to do this. Okay, I'm gonna get another piece of the mm. Okay, this this time out is really with a good amount of curry. His mouth then big sir. <laughs> Oh, I need a moment. Why oh, is that good? The amount of spice, though. They just keep hitting you. Keep hitting and hitting you. Get a small slice. What a tear, eh? I think it quite helps that we've got different cuisines, right? Yeah, yeah. You keep switching the flavor. So, you don't feel like it's very sweet, you know? It's not an ice cream. Another thing, like, why this restaurant is, like, my favorite by far, right? Is the price point. Every dish here, right, that I order, right, none of it is over 10 bucks. Right? I think this is 7 bucks. This is 8 bucks. This is 9 bucks. Value for money. For this kind of quality. I'm surprised they don't have any Michelin Beat Gourmet or like Michelin Star or whatever out there. I really recommend this place for anyone that 
I don't want dipping this into the kambing soup or so on. I recommend this place for anyone that wants to try out vegetarian food for the first time. Vegan food actually is vegan, yeah, not vegetarian. Mm. Those that already been like, you know, uh, eating vegan food like for the whole of their life want to try out Indian vegetarian, Indian vegan food, right? This is the place to go to. If I'm gonna choose that, which is my favorite, right? I'll pick this. It's genuinely like a flavor profile that I've never tried before. So yeah, if, even if you are like a long-term vegetarian like me, I think you'd be quite impressed with like the selections mm. here. I think if you come with a big group of friends, order everything, right? Like different sections and everything, then try everything. Yeah, how to chill now, eh? Order everything here. <laughs> huh? There's a lot of other items here that we have yet to try. And I'm really very tempted to order a bit more, but you see almost stop this girl yeah. already complaining that she's full already. Well, Oh. Okay. okay, last bite, last bite. Wow. Right. Not bad, not bad. Which is your favorite dish? Yeah? Definitely this. I really love the curry. We'll be I'm back for curry. I'm fond of this too. Uh. Mm. But really, I have to pick one, right? I pick this one. The way yeah. they execute. Just now, Lauren mentioned something also. The fact that mm. the carrot cake is very soft and bouncy. Very, very cute. Feels yeah. as if it's not from like some factory made thing. It feels mm. as if like someone, there's someone behind all there. You, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> so just now, you know, where we slap the carrot cake, right? We have the buoyancy, you know? Yes, yes. And then yeah. without egg, without egg, without garlic, yeah. you know, they can they can create such we a thing. We have to try this. We have to try. The last restaurant can top this one. Right? Last is Herbie Ball. Oh, I don't think can, eh. Ah, I mean, it's, 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 it's very nice, but it's like this, this was one, one of the a bar kind. Too high. Yeah, it was one of a kind experience. Yeah. I, but I'm excited to try her before. Her voice is mm. Japanese, is it? This restaurant, right, is really like a typical Japanese restaurant, but mm. just that it's all, it's vegetarian or vegan? Vegetarian. Vegetarian. What do you usually get when you come here? The sushi. I, I love. Do you like avocado? I love avocado. Oh my god, you will love the avocado mushroom. We get avo we get avocado. the sushi. Here. This this sushi, okay, I don't know how to say it, lah, okay, but this is the one that's really Mito not bad. Buru. The second one I always go for is avocado mushroom. Okay, we get this two first, then I ask them to recommend one more. We so the Are you? Hey. Okay. She looked down on me. <laughs> hey, we didn't even start there. <laughs> okay, okay. So we get that too. And then what, one other um, item that I would recommend. Which is uh, what? Cheese. Cheese. Shitake. <laughs> she really sad. <laughs> So this is like portobello mushrooms. Okay. Then they deep fry it, then they put like Japanese mayo, then they put like cheese. It's damn sinful but it's so tasty. Okay la, they do mm. have healthy options as well. I see like avocado salad for you to heat your vegetable intake. A another recommendation if you are here, because mm. I'm, I'm always here, mm. you can go for like the hot noodles, right? And then get like yeah, either their miso ramen or their spicy ramen. Because in Singapore, it's really hard to find vegetarian ramen. I think the only other option is Ipudo. I would say this is a really good bowl of ramen. Okay, okay. Eastern, Later yeah. we see how. If but we are not still, you don't. Know. <laughs> let's go! No! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Last stop, okay? Last stop. Okay, uh, I have to say, right, the presentation is amazing. Oh, the presentation is on point, eh. Okay, which one is the nicest to you? Avocado. Avocado, ah. The avocado looks super creamy, mm -hmm. and the sushis are all very big, uh, and when I'm ordering through the menu, yeah. I was like, hey, it's a little bit expensive, but mm -hmm. after I look at the, the size, kind of right, reasonable, and this place is in town. Okay, one thing I recommend is to like, remove a bit of the mayo. A bit of the mayonnaise? I think like it's a bit too much mayo, right? It ruins the flavor. Take a bit of the teriyaki sauce. A bit of teriyaki sauce. Yeah, yeah. then it just, Stuff in your mouth. And one bite, eh? Wow. Oh my god, it's freaking gorilla, eh? Can you like one more? Oh my god. Wait, I cannot stop. Okay. Fried maki, eh? Yeah, it's fried maki. Fried maki, huh? Yeah. For this one, I always like, I will separate You'll it. Separate I will, it, eat, I will yeah. eat like the sushi no. first. Yeah, one bite, one bite. Just one bite. bite. Yeah, but I cannot. Mm. Mm. It's great. Mm. The flavor is there. Wow. Mm. It's like some sort of fried mushroom on top. Ho -ho -ho. Oh. Oh, Toto Goo, yeah. Wow, mm. quality ingredients. And then the, the maki is fried to perfection. Uh. The inside is not tough at all. And then the sauce. They mm. use some sort of zesty, orange. I love this sauce. It's, yeah. I, I really like this sauce. You need one bite this. I don't, I don't recommend eating this way. You yeah. want one bite, you want to get everything in that one bite. It's gonna look ugly. My mouth is not so big either. It's not gonna look glamorous, but you, you need to experience, get a full on experience. This is, I know it's a deep fried shiitake mushroom. Mm. Or potobello. 
It's very strong in flavour, but it's like dairy. They torch the cheese, so it's very smoky. They added some sort of like, uh, no, what sort of teriyaki sauce? I think inside got barbecue. Some, like mayo or something. Yeah, mayonnaise like Japanese for sure. Mayo yeah, some sort of mayonnaise yeah. for sure. Good, this is good. This is very good. It tastes a bit gingery as well. Oh, it's good. Eh? Oh. Oh. You say this one cannot match Goku, but... Maybe yeah. I thought maybe you can. Maybe yeah. Maybe because I eat too many times already. Then I okay. Maybe. I need to get another try of this. The first maybe part was very disappointing. Yeah. Same thing. I don't need so much mayonnaise. Mm. I'm gonna dip it into this. You need a bit of that saltiness. Mm. Not bad. Good. I will come back here and I'll order the salad, avocado salad, this one, and mm. like that. Balanced meal. Mm. Oh, try the spicy ramen. But Usually, what do you get if you're eating alone? This alone, one? Uh, I will just get this actually because it's more than enough. It's so much already. Ah. Did oh. <laughs> this one just like that? Just like this, like. Not with a side of ramen. See, right? I won't come to eat this place if I'm alone. Oh, yeah. It's true, a true. sharing cup. This is a sharing cup. Is this considered yeah. a hidden. It's not a hidden gem. Everybody knows about this place, right? I guess, like, if you are following vegetarian food, you probably know. Okay. But if you don't, then we can kind of try it out. Again, right? This is the kind of place that I will recommend for people that they are very afraid to try vegetarian food because of oh you know the overwhelming taste of like vegetable I'm not sure if I can handle the you know all that all that, all that clean stuff it's very easy to eat you won't even tell you can't even tell that it's even, vegetarian you, you don't even need to think about it yeah it just feels like good Japanese food I'm gonna I'm gonna deconstruct this thing and see what's inside uh, okay. fried maki and mm. then uh, there is, I think there's still avocado inside. Uh, some, I think there's some more meat inside as well. I'm gonna take a bite of this. I still remember the one bite. One bite. Hey, but I don't know why this side liao, like the monkey head mushroom, right? It gives you that the tan xing, like mm. the cuteness. Okay, maybe I try one bite. <sighs> but I cannot lah. See, I only have one bite. Nah, Haley can do it. I cannot. <laughs> for for viewers. It's not that one painful already, <laughs> lah. <laughs> <laughs> half bite, half bite. You need a bit of skill to do that. Mm. Yeah, you need to get everything in one bite now. Mm. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then this is slightly refreshing, like a bit of radish. Yeah. Mm. I like the fact that they give you uh, this mm. ginger, like pickled ginger. Like mm. cleanse, cleanse your palate. Cleanse your palate after mm. that. Yeah, I'm glad that actually we picked this good. Hey, my recommendation Yeah, yeah, your recommendation is very solid. Thank you, thank you. Hey, 23 year experience. Yeah, 23 years yeah. of vegetarian food. But to recommend a few places, these are places that I would say that you won't think about onion and garlic. You know, mm. the flavor is still there. The goku and this one, mm. this two is really very, very, the way they execute everything. It's mm. insane. Bro. Mm. I don't know why some, some people hate vegetarian food that much, but I can bring somebody here, right? They will not hate on this. We're almost down. Almost down, almost down. Yeah, I'm done already. You're done already. <laughs> Cannot already. Actually, I want to ask you, uh, mm. 20, 23 years of being a vegetarian, uh, didn't really have like, like eaten meat before. Uh, so I can't really ask you what's the difference, but mm. do you feel any side effect? Like, uh, uh, for sure. Quicker than normal person. Metabolic weight, sorry. Yeah, it's, it's definitely better than a normal person. If you want to be a vegetarian and like, you know, daily like, you can't keep eating this kind of thing, uh, of course. You have to like keep it relatively clean. I saw some of yeah. her daily meals. It's actually relatively clean. Just rice, broccoli, I love eggs. broccoli. Yeah. You, you know they say like meat got a lot of hormones. Like hormones. Mm, yeah. So I, I think when I grew up, right, my puberty stage was very smooth sailing. So not much acne, not yeah. much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, her skin is really very clear. Okay. okay. No, no, not very clear today la. When I go into vegan phase, uh, in between my shoots, right, it feels as if I'm doing a little detox. I feel like things are going through. I'm going yeah. to poop better. Oh. The, my bowel movement yeah, yeah. is a Oh lot my god, more, my like, pooping know. schedule right, is yeah. on point right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm saying poops are, you know, okay. I just really respect the, the, like, the ability to have such discipline. Oh, to, to jump around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, a lot of eaters, a lot of YouTubers like Matt yeah. Stoney. Matt Stoney, uh, mm. he's, a good, he's a good friend of mine. He stick to a high fiber diet as well on, mm. on off days. Uh, Mark wins. He mm. he's a vegan on on uh, on regular days when you don't film as well. Oh, I always tell my friends like you know people are just like oh my god you'll be vegetarian kind of thing. I don't <laughs> think it's necessary. It's more like you just cut down like your meat consumption. And it's better for the environment. It's better for you. It's better for the animals. I don't believe in a full on vegetarian diet. Mm. I want to enjoy food. Mm. I want to enjoy uh, meat and all. Mm. But I do believe in 
the benefits of a vegan diet even in between days of like eating meat. So one week, right? Even if you take like two two days or three days of eating totally meat, eating eating yeah. like vegan or vegetarian, you will be able to get all that benefits. Right? Mm. So I mean, if you this is something you guys want to try, you can go, by all means go ahead. But I'm not again. I'm not That's advocating. A meaningful episode. <laughs> Thanks to you. Okay, so we come to the end of like uh, this little vegetarian vlog today. A bit of a rush lah because initially we wanted five, but we only got four hours to make this happen. But so I hope you guys enjoy this episode um, this four restaurants they are all really good okay yeah. um, you know on days if you want like a healthy cake correct the mala actually if you ask for less oil I think it's yeah. relatively okay or you can ask for less oil if you want to yeah. so all four I would recommend like, all four is good but uh, my, my favourite for today is definitely Goku mm. uh, this one is very good as well mm. then this two I'm torn between this two I can't I can't really give a favourite because all of these places are already uh, already they are her favourite right? yeah. close to heart definitely mala oh not Goku ah uh. No leh. Okay. I think in terms of cuisines la, like mala is just okay. She's more like a girl. Chinese. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, like I say la, me always eating like a psychopath, right? <laughs> the longevity of my eating career it depends on days like that. So I really need to have this kind of normal days where I, you know, eat clean, boil a bunch of broccoli. But this is one of those days that I'm, I'm eating a lot of vegetables today. But uh, but it's like you know, it's solid, good food. Today, some of the options are not exactly the healthiest. Okay, but it is something that for people that want to try of vegetarian food where you guys can start off like this, this is the first step yeah the first step like, yeah. Yeah. but actually mm. just come here order all this but like, whatever I recommend is good like. don't, don't... It's, really, it's really very good yeah, it's really okay. very good hey good racks right yeah very very solid recommendation okay, by this girl okay so that's it okay that's it for this video if you guys want to see more of her comment down below today she pulled her weight today she ate a lot hey, yeah. uh, but today ah, it's see, I did eat a lot <laughs> her links and her socials oh, will all yeah. be down in the description check her out Xian Wen Poops okay now you guys know why is it why, why it's called Xian Wen Poops so, okay, but that's it. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you guys like more of such vlogs, remember give me a thumbs up. Uh, drop me a comment down below, uh, and you guys can even recommend more vegetarian place. Mm. I will invite her next time again mm. for vegetarian vlogs. Okay, that's what it. A I'll season YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to start her YouTube channel, so guys, please comment down below and encourage her a bit. Oh my god. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.